Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Rashi Hamalio and today is a little bit of a different video. I want to talk to you guys about products that actually give me joy. So every single time I use these products, I feel uplifted, I feel happy and I just love these products to death. Some of them are new to me while others I've had for some time and so I really want to share products that give me joy. So I have quite a few products here. I was going to do a top five, but there's more than five products that give me joy. So I've decided to kind of lump them all together and let, we're going to start off straight away with Charlotte Tilbury's Flawless Filter. Now this, I've got three shades in these highlighters. They're absolutely stunning. I use these every single time I do my makeup and I much prefer to use them under my foundation because it kind of gives you that lit from within look but of course you can layer these on top of foundation as well and they look stunning uh, the shades that i've got is four five and six six is something that i use in summer and four and five I can use both of these in winter and in my skin that i've currently got at the moment next up is tom ford's cream color for eyes in the shade spice this is so beautiful check this out and i'm just going to swatch this for you This is beautiful. I love this color. So Tom Ford does these cream color for eyes. They've been out for a long time now. This is not a new product, but I reach for this all the time. For example, often when I do my lip swatch videos, I put a bronzer in my crease, pop this all over my eye and I'm good to go. They, this is not too shimmery. It doesn't have massive shimmery particles. It's very creamy, easy to blend. It looks stunning on the eye and this color is fantastic. Okay, next is my Viseart Dark Mattes Palette. Again, this is not a new product. I've had this for quite a few years, I think, but wow. Just, just look at that color selection. It is so beautiful and the quality on these matte eyeshadows is out of this world. They are so creamy. They are so blendable and soft and diffused and yet give you great color payoff. I, I don't know how to say diffused and yet great color payoff at the same time because you would think that's contradictory, but it's not these beautiful eyeshadows i just think deserve more credit i know viseart was really popular a couple of years ago but this has really stayed with me i use this quite a lot and i love that it has some warm tone shades and also some cool tone shades these purpley shades right here are gorgeous the browns here are fantastic probably my most used ones are the browns and then you've got some very interesting blues and greens right here every time i use it it gives me joy for sure next up is born to run palette from urban decay wow this palette is just incredible it is so beautiful all of these shades are as you can see quite colorful it's got a very diverse color story and yet all of these shades maybe apart from one which is right here that i don't particularly like all of these are very wearable so i have used these shades quite a lot and i've enjoyed every single look that i've gotten out of this palette and I can have so much fun with this palette. It's just, you can go crazy. You've got some, some beautiful pinks, some bright oranges, copper. You've got these gorgeous shades. This quad right here, you've got some stunning shades, some stunning greens. It's just beautiful, beautiful curation of shades. And every time I use this palette, I am ecstatic quality is also fantastic by the way next up is my metropolis palette from natasha denona i have to of course include this 
if you've seen my review of this palette, I'll put it at the top. I refer to this palette as if my soul was an eyeshadow palette, it would be this. Yeah, that's how much obsessed I am with this palette. Quality is phenomenal and I've created so many different looks with this palette. The eye look I have on today is from this palette and it's just using these three shades up the top here just these three shades it's given me this really gorgeous cool tone olive eye look which i really really love every single time i have created a look from this palette i have loved it's just there's so much potential here that i haven't even tapped into yet so i'm gonna say um Wow, Natasha Denona did a great job with this palette. I am in love. Make sure you check out my review of this palette because I also do four looks that I show you how to achieve from this palette. And of course, you can do so many more looks with that. Now, I'm also going to mention, and this is new to me, so the palettes I've shown you today aren't new, but this is brand new that came out this year and I'm in love. I'm in love with this palette. I have done a review video on this as well. I'll link it at the top. By the way, make sure to watch that one. I put a ton of effort into that video. We're talking about days and days of editing and it's one of my best work. So do check that out and give me some support and hit that like button. But this palette is so beautiful. Initially, I thought I was going to be disappointed with this palette, but you know what? The quality is there and I've created such gorgeous looks from this palette that every time I use it now, I feel very, very happy. And the packaging, of course, is really stunning. It's gorgeous. Okay, now still sticking with the eye theme, I wanna show you some pencils. Like who would, who would think that eyeshadow pencils can give you a joy, right? But they do. There, there are some specific ones that do give me joy. So let me first talk about Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier has these caviar, what are they called? Caviar stick eye color. You guys are probably familiar with these. These are not new. They've been around for a long time and they are stunning. Every single time I use them, I'm impressed because they blend so beautifully so easy to blend this is a one and done quick eye look i love wearing these to work and let me just show you the shades that i've got the only problem with these is i feel like there aren't enough matte shades they so laura marcia has ton of metallic shades but i don't really use metallic shades that frequently i just wish there were more matte shades in these so these are the shades that i have this one right here is coco cobblestone which is this beautiful gray in the middle this one i often use not as a standalone eyeshadow but as a base for gray smoky eyes and then right here is your plum gorgeous gorgeous colors i love these next i have one from shiseido shiseido kajal ink artist i've been really enjoying these pencils and this specific shade i've used a lot i think i'm gonna run out of this pretty soon and i only bought this this year and this shade is called tea house now this is a very soft muted brown shade it is the perfect shade for a one and done neutral eye look I will often just apply this all over my eye, then use a stiffer goat hair brush and just blend it all over my eye and my look is done. And I often wear this to work. So beautiful, beautiful color, beautiful blend. Now it does come in other colors and they don't all blend the same, but this specific one is fantastic. Then I wanna talk about nude stick. So nude stick have a shade called marooned. And wow, this is creamy and intense and it's that rustic shade that's not too red. And it's so beautiful. And this one is right here. Again, this creates a really stunning all over, sort of like a smoky eye look. I really wanna do a fall look with this for you let me know if you want to see that this does set very quickly so once you put it all over your eye you've just got to buff that out quickly because it does set and then it doesn't budge love it 
And lastly, I want to show you NARS. I've got this NARS packaging is just so annoying sometimes because everything sticks to it and you cannot clean it. Well, I can't clean it. Let me know if you know of a way to clean these um, NARS sticky packaging. Ugh. Anyways, this is Velvet Shadow Stick in the shade Nanawat? Nanawoot? I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm just going to swatch this for you. This is a very unique shade. I haven't found any eyeshadow or eye pencil in this color. It is so unique, you guys. And this is this shade right here. It's kind of like a, a gray toned plum. It's so beautiful. And every time I wear this, I actually get compliments because it's such a unique shade that you don't really see very often. This is also very easy to blend. It's actually like a plummy, eggplanty, cool tone color. It's, it's so interesting. And the same goes with these eyeshadow pencils as well. Not all the colors blend the same, but this specific one blends beautifully. So those were my eye pencils that I love to death. Next up, I want to talk about a brow product. Who would have thought that a brow product could can give you joy, but this one does for me, and this is new to me. I bought it this year. It's called the MAC Eyebrows Big Boost Fiber Gel in the shade Stud. So Stud is a shade that is the darkest out of the ones that are available. It makes my eyebrows look very dark, very fluffy, and I just love it. So I've got it on today. I'm gonna insert a clip so you can see how I apply it. I'm still getting used to how to apply this. One of the problems I have with this is that it's very dark. I specifically chose the darkest color to make my eyebrows look dark very quickly but that does mean you've got to be more careful in application, otherwise your dark eyebrows can go too dark very, very quickly. Not that I mind that, because I have dark hair at the moment, having dark brows totally works. So I just want to show you this color. Now this is what the color looks like. It's kind of like your cool toned, blackened brown. For sure it's a brown, but it's on the cooler side, and it really is the perfect shade for my eyebrows. I have been really loving this, so I haven't used a fiber brow gel before. This is my first time, and I am extremely happy with it. I love that my eyebrows look so fluffy and big and dark, and this is a pleasure to use. And every single time I do my makeup now, I'm using this. Next up is the Kosas Bronzer. I don't think you guys will be surprised if you've been watching my videos. I love this bronzer so much. It gives a beautiful luminosity to the skin and it just makes me feel like I'm on a sexy vacation somewhere and I'm a bronze goddess and all I want to do is languish around on the beach. Like That's the vibe I get from this bronzer. I've done a whole video on this. I'll link that at the top. And this is the bronzer that I've got on at the moment as well. It gives me a beautiful glow. It's just perfection. It's perfection. But it does have shimmer and if you don't like shimmery bronzers, it's probably not for you. Okay, next up I want to talk about blushes. So I've got a few blushes here and these specific shades are the ones that give me joy. Like I've got a ton of blushes, but there are some specific shades that my heart just goes <laughs> So the first one is Pericone MD No Blush Blush. And it's this gorgeous light coral pink shade. And every time I wear this, it's kind of like, wow. It, I can't even describe it. This color is perfection, I believe, on warm, medium brown skin tones. It's beautiful. It, it doesn't have any shimmer. It's matte. It gives a nice semi dewy cheek and it just sinks in and looks part of the skin that's what's great about this formulation it really does look part of the skin and whenever i wear this i end up wearing a lot of it because the color is so beautiful now next up i want to talk about westman atelier so if you've seen my westman atelier blush swatch video you would have seen my reaction 
to this blush. This is the shade Pop It. And I'm gonna insert a clip from that video of me applying this shade. How pretty is this color? I mean, look at that. Yes. You saw that, right? This blush gives me joy, hands down, no doubt about it. Color is just divine. It's such a beautiful, cool tone pink. It just makes me very, very happy every time I use it. Of course, the formulation on this is excellent as well. Next up, now this is a new blush to me, and wow. This is the Walk of No Shame blush. This is so beautiful, you guys. This is, I believe, probably the best powder blush formulation I've come across in a long time. There have been other blushes, satin blushes, that try to give a glow to the cheek, but most of them would have shimmer, and shimmer is what gives that glow. However, in this blush, there is no shimmer. There is no detectable shimmer that I can see. It just has this beautiful glow to the cheek. It's really stunning. I'm not wearing it today because it wouldn't quite work with what I've got on, but I've done a video on this so you can see my cheek swatch of what this looks like on me. By the way, on Instagram, I do a hand swatch of this as well, so check that out. But I am dying, dying for Charlotte to release more shades in this formulation so I can pick them up because, wow, wow. The last blush is Nude Sticks. So this is a shade that you haven't seen on my channel because by the time I ended up doing my Nude Stick swatch video, this hadn't arrived, so it wasn't part of it. However, this is a shade called Fresh Fiji. It's such a neon coral shade. I love it. I mean, check that out. Now that is a very bright neon orange. It's so beautiful. I remember wearing this and catching up with one of my friends and when she saw me, she said, whoa, you look like you've just come back from a holiday. And yeah, that's what this blush does to you. Especially if you have that tan skin. This blush on tan skin is, wow, just amazing. So if you've got brown skin, you've got to check this color out. I think it will look amazing on you. And every time I wear it, I feel like I've just come from a holiday and I love that. Lastly, we've come to the end of the video. Now the last product I wanna show you that gives me a lot of joy is NARS. So these are NARS highlighters. I have a lot of highlighters and there are many highlighters I love. I've done a video on my top five highlighters, so check that out at the top. But these ones are really unique in my collection. And that's because they're not your intense pow sort of highlight. They're not gonna give you that strobing effect, not at all. These are very sophisticated. They don't have any shimmer. They just have this gleam to the skin. And I'm gonna insert a clip showing you using these because I've got this on my cheek now. And for me, the standout shade is Ibiza. Fort de France is beautiful as well, especially if you have skin color that's lighter than mine, you might want to pick up Fort de France. But Ibiza, uh, it is really divine. I always gravitate towards this, and that's generally because I love my golden highlighters. Every time I use this, I'm reminded of how underrated this product is. And the great thing about these highlighters is you don't really see shimmer with these. Of course, they have shimmer, but you don't see it. It's extremely finely milled. Probably the most finely milled highlighter that I've got is this one. And for those of you that are looking for a very natural highlighter, this is it. So these were all the products that really just give me so much joy every single time I use them because they're phenomenal quality. All of them are 
fantastic and they look amazing on my skin tone and so I really wanted to do this video because some of these you would have heard me talk about already but some of these you haven't heard of yet so I'm hoping you would have found this valuable. By the way I haven't included any lipstick in this video if you want to see lipsticks that bring me joy maybe I could do a part two and just talk about lipsticks alone the specific shades that bring me joy let me know I can do that for you so pop that in the comment section below make sure to hit the like button because the more you support me the more motivated I am to do these videos for you and I will see you guys in the next video see ya